So, how the hell did they know exactly where we were? I don't know, I swear! Montgomery, you are the only thing that has changed in this equation. Logically, it must be something to do with you. Penny, Arachnus, I'm being honest. Then prove it. I know. Monty, place your inventory on the table. I will. Here. I just have me, uh, me revolver and an empty box of condoms. Heh, <laughs> yeah. I still can't believe that happened. We'll talk about it later. This isn't the time. I'm holding on to this revolver till we figure this out. Hey, that's mine! Monty, please. In good faith. Ugh. Okay. So, what else you got? I got a little money and, uh... What's that? Um... It's my charm. Oh, you really kept it. Of course I did. I'll never forget, but I always keep it close to my heart. When you were telling the story, didn't you say you had another charm that Vox gave you? Oh, I did, but I, uh, must have lost it in the crash. Monty, I know when you're lying. Penny, Penny, come on. Montgomery, why are you after me lucky charms? I need them. He keeps them on his person, at all times. He could have that coin hidden anywhere. Look, you're not checking the charm. Well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? Oh, no. Monty, you must submit to the check. All right, I will. Just... Uh, just be gentle, Angel. Prepare yourself, Monty. Mentally, physically, and emotionally. Oh, shite. <sighs> After 20 minutes of searching, I didn't find anything. Except this charm! I win, Monty! 20 minutes? It's more like 45. I searched them well. Very well. Too well. You happy now? Yes, I'm very happy. So this is the coin charm that Vox gave you. Pen, don't you have an x-ray machine? It just so happens that I do! Why don't we use it on this coin, see if there's anything inside? Wait! Wait a minute! You had an x-ray machine and you still had angels search me? What the fuck?! <laughs> Oops. Look, it's hollow inside, with a microchip! It is a tracking device. What the hell? Did you really think an overlord like Vox would just give you something out of the kindness of his heart? No, I just... I don't know. Monty, it's okay. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck, I'm so sorry. I led them here and I didn't even know. Monty, wait! Come back! That poor guy. He got duped. I would expect no less from Vox. Pen, can you reverse engineer it to find out where it's sending its signal? I believe I can. Give me a little time. All right, I've just discovered the receiver's location. It's... Wait, that don't look right. Is it saying it's... It's under Pentagram City? No way, but it does make sense. People have been trying to find Vox's hideout for decades, and nobody ever could. That's because they didn't have me. <laughs> That's right, my king. Uh, why do you call him that again? It has to do with his name. Oh, so you're that intimate. That's all I'm saying. Okay, back to the matter at hand. Penn, his hideout is under the city. Isn't that a bit much? He has control of the media in Pentagram City, as well as the Voxco chain of warehouse stores. I'm sure there's more I don't know about. There is. Are you all right, Monty? Yes, I just needed a moment. Most overlords are already tough to deal with. I've taken out a couple. But these three are on another level. I know Vox has something big going on. Monty, you know something we don't? A lot, yes. Vox's base is underground. Base? You mean hideout? No, I mean base. I think it's time I told you the stakes we're dealing with. Stakes? How far does this go? Okay, everybody have a seat. Probably a drink. My goodness. That bad, huh? Vox has been slowly building a private army for years. He means to take over Pentagram completely. What? How? Lucifer's in charge. You can't beat him. Lucifer is still vulnerable to angelic weapons like the spears. My word! He really wants to assassinate King Lucifer! Yes, and... and I was the one assigned to do it. So I was right. Remember when Anthony and I found you in the theater at the Netherplex? You really were about to waste him. I was. And his daughter, too. Jesus! Up to that point, Anthony and I were convinced that the King was conspiring with Vox. Yeah, we ran into him and Vox talking in a parking lot. They were talking about taking care of the hotel. Yeah, it seemed that Lucifer was paying Vox to do something to the hotel. Oh, is that what you thought? What do you mean? He wasn't paying to put a hit on the hotel. He was paying for protection. To protect his daughter. Oh my god. That's so sweet. The little I do know is that 
Lucifer doesn't believe in the whole redemption thing, but he loves his daughter very much, and he still wants to support her, even though he doesn't agree with her views. Wow, he really does care. I guess he's not as bad as I thought. Unfortunately, it was just a cover so that Vox could get close to Lucifer, gain his trust. That was when Vox gave Lucifer that phone you were tracking, and soon after that, he sent a small hit squad to the hotel to try to eliminate Princess Maine, but she wasn't there. Funny how it all comes together. Here is how the plan was supposed to go. Vox had selected me to eliminate King Lucifer because I was his best. A 100% successful hit rate. A perfect hit rate. But the only other person who has that. I know. It's you. Well, congratulations, I guess. Thanks, but... Because I failed, thankfully I might add, we now have a potentially bigger problem now. All three members of the royal family are still alive, and so are the two of you. So why is that a problem? Vox has a contingency in place. He always does in case a plot goes bad. Well shit, what was the backup plan? He, um, he's been working on a super weapon of sorts, one with terrifying power. Jesus, there's always something else. Can't we just catch a fucking break? He calls it a heat missile. It stands for Holy Eternity Energy Transmission. That sounds bad. Real bad? You don't mean... Yes, a tactical nuclear missile that erases sinners and demons. If he couldn't kill the royal family quietly, he'd do it loud. My god. With this missile, he could erase everybody in a two-mile radius. All he has to do is fire it at the palace, and then he'd blame the tragedy on someone else. Albert uses vast resources to help rebuild and take over as King Vox. Oh shit. The hotel's only a mile away from the palace. It would wipe them all out. But doesn't heaven control things like this? <laughs> heaven? I learned a few things about heaven. They're the same as us. What? What do you mean? They're the same. Just a, a different dimension with slightly different rules, like, like the living world. They're just as corrupt. Only their world looks prettier and is masked with good intentions. Vox had arranged for heaven to allow the missile to strike Lucifer, thereby destroying the embarrassment they feel. What embarrassment? I thought heaven was supposed to be all holy and shit. From what I know, Lucifer led a revolt against heaven eons ago, and turned a full third of their army against them. So the story goes. It's true. Lucifer is a walking reminder that they are not invincible and not perfect. It's a win-win. Vox gets to be king, and heaven no longer has to suffer shame from Lucifer being around. So, what does that mean for us then? It means we have to hit Vox back. He'll just keep sending goons until they eventually erase us, and that's no way to live. We're gonna be on the run for the rest of our afterlives. Nessie, I don't want to spend the rest of my afterlife looking over my shoulder. I know, Anthony, and we won't. I feel the same. Huh. Are we all in agreement then, Pen? I believe so. Anthony? Yeah. Monty? Count me in. Okay, then it's decided. It's time to take this fight to Vox. Hey sinners, we'd appreciate it if you like, subscribe, and smack that bell. Huh? Nuh-uh. Nessie, what'd you do to my bell? I took care of it. What the fuck? I hated that goddamn thing. It's a good thing I got this backup bell. Backup bell? What the fuck? Yeah, I always carry it with me, in case of a ding-dong emergency. What the hell is a ding-dong emergency? It's this! Ding-dong! This is the deepest circle of my own personal hell! I love that bell.